Yeah. Okay, um, so it's Go Go Media Girl, and we're here to talk about jobs. Mm -hmm. So, what jobs are you guys covering? Okay, we're actually covering four, but I'll I'll tell you about my favorite two. Um, the first one it's presenting, bring in front of the camera. The skills you need. The first one it's been confident. And the second one, you must be able to actually memorize and, yeah, you must have quite a good memory because then, okay, because then if ever, let's say you're doing a link, you won't have to have that paper in front of you and, like, read what you want to say. You have to memorize all of it. It has to be up here, and then you have to say it as if it's something that's just coming in your mind now, now. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, editing. Um, as far as editing is concerned, what you need is your PC <laughs> and Adobe, yes, because we're actually using Adobe, the um, gang, what do you call it? It's not Adobe, it's Final Cut. It's Final, oh, okay, sorry, we're actually using Final Cut Pro, so yeah, that's all you'll need, and obviously you have to be fast typer to make your things, yeah, not to take time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any okay. Other two? Yes, yeah. I have my two, okay, two. which is camera. Uh, first, you need to know your machine, how it works. Uh, you need to know how it operates. You need to. You are not only a camera person, as like the camera person. You need to know your story, where you're going to film, what are the things that interest you when you do the film. Do you need to know the skills in terms of? Um, in terms of, for example, zooming in and zooming out, you need to know how to tilt, you, know, you need to know how to pan, and you must be steady. Because in some places when you go in your film, you find that you are in a crowd. You need to know how you hold your baby in your hands so that you'll be able to, to come up with a good project. Okay. Uh -huh. In terms of um, researching, you need to know your PC from switching it on to, to your Word document. You need to know, you, you need to fam familiarize yourself with the internet. You must be able to browse. When you go there, you must know, when I browse, where do I go? Do I go to Google or do I go to, to a certain website of another company for me to get that information? And you must be able to read. You must be able to, to write. Yeah, then other things will just follow in place in terms of decorating your document, you know, changing all those fonts and colors, they just come after, as long as you know how to do proper research and compile it into one document. When you're researching, how do you know you're getting the real facts? <laughs> um, first, as I said, you need to read if the thing is relevant to what you're doing. Because if you, you, you don't read, you'll find that whatever that you have done is not true. So also, it's, it's good to have good contact. After you've done the research, you must call the people. For example, if you're, you're doing a research on Soweto, about Soweto, you need to have someone who's there, and you call them and you ask them, is such a place, whatever they say about it, like hey, there's Hector Peterson Museum, is it true? What does it do? Does it operate daily? Because everything that they write on the internet, sometimes it's not true. But you have to ask people who are living nearer the place. OK. That was the people from Global Girl Media. Google Media Girl.